Trinacrosma, of all things. Okay. Can you believe <clears throat> that, Jackold? With a naughty little Chimeco. Naughty. And an even naughtier... Oh, I can't be bothered with Chimecos. <laughs> an even naughtier Registeel. Don't swear, Jack, we're live. Don't swear. I want to swear. <laughs> I want to <laughs> <I'm> scream. Chimums. <laughs> 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 I just can't be bothered dealing with Chimeco stuff. Do you have a general rule for when you play timers and when you play greats? Because my general rule is never play timers, but sometimes. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a stage two. You're playing timers. Um, I've been. I asked because I've been chatting with Seb this week, and we've been <clears throat> some Zoro plus stage one stuff, mm -hmm. and he just loves four timer and everything. <laughs> and I just hate it. I just want three great ball, maybe four great ball at a push, and just get a Pokemon, get a nice. If I'm playing, yeah, if I'm playing great ball, it has to be a lot of slots. Mm. Best of a bad bunch. I don't know. Like it feels like he's cut some. I mean, we know him as the, the guy that cuts text for consistency, so adding timer balls over one-off items, it makes sense, but it feels like... I mean, how tech-free is he? Some techs are important right now. Oh, I forgot to change the title. Harrogate testing. Cool, that'll do. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's join. Let's, let's join the timer ball squad. Yikes. I hate it, but I'm doing it. Uh So I've got a three those. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think will be the most popular deck in Harrogate? The Cephalon. Yeah, I was thinking clowns. I think clowns I genuinely think what we said the other day, clowns, Guardi and Zoro Desi. Mm-hmm. Should theoretically be. I feel like they're all tier one. I haven't tested any Guardian actually. I might test some Guardian in the next couple of days. How have you had the restraint for that? That's not like you at all. I don't have Night Owl online. Literally uh, is the only reason. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. There would be fairy energy absolutely everywhere yeah, if yeah. I had the Tails online. I also don't have Solgaleo, but I could test it without Solgaleo quite easily. I think I would want to play it with Solgaleo, but... I could get a feel for the deck without it, at least. First game, pretty sure this <laughs> this looks like uh, Meganium stuff. Good. 
That's the testing we're after. Is any any of my friends online that can give me real games? Get me out of this mess. <laughs> That there. Hit them for 80. 100, I mean. I mean, fundamentally, the deck just feels very exodiary. 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 That's a word, right? And I just don't know whether I would want to. want to do that for. Um, yeah. Do you know? It's an if extra got... reason to play Mill. Because you can skull grunt and win before they're in the loop. Do you think we have to worry about mill? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> Probably less than ten percent. Probably less than Leipzig, but still a concern. Hmm. Being serious and taking Naga Quag to Harrogate. I mean, non EX deck, but can one shot GXs and EXs. Good typing. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. What a world we live in. You'd love it. Any excuse to play some Quag and you're in. I think if you didn't need points, you'd be sleeving up those Quag eyes. Alternatively, I think because you need points, you might be sleeving up some quagsires. Laura, how's it going? Hey, not bad, thank you. Double chicorita. <clears throat> as well playing Joe's list oh no that can only mean one thing success busted <laughs> well I've got three Zoro arcs online so hopefully I can trade through my deck before this slacking appears <laughs> just saying the words <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, to Mal's account. He chose to watch football instead. Unreal. Seb, how's it going, mate? The given relief as well. How's it going? Double thick arita. That thick line. You oh. really use a psychic energy top deck. When they beacon for Meganium Mudkip, you know it's on. Oh, it's on. Find me a Guzma and find me one now. Now. Now, now, now. Mm. Oh, oh, I can like and rock judge him. Mm. Okay. I shouldn't have done this. I should like and rock judge. What we could do is we could hit this for 60 with a Malamar. Then he has to retreat it and we can Giratina to kill it. 
It's just how do we take our last two prizes if our turn this turn is spent on a Guzma that doesn't take a prize? Sounds terrible. That's Cynthia. Sounds terrible, I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> No psychic energy. Well, that's game. Good. What, uh. <laughs> what bridge seal is that? Hello? Hi? It's one that hits 120 against the Gardevoir. Oops. Embarrassing. What does it do? Just. 60 plus 60 if it's a, got an ability. Lol. Play Coco, GX, Naga. Hate that deck because it's actually good against Naga Quack. Boo. Oh, as if I judged him into Candy Meganium. Get out. <laughs> Get out. I judged him into Candy Meganium Mudkip. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sad violins. You've got to admit, that's pretty crumb, right? That is crummy. So... <clears throat> See how well Zapdos Jirachi did in the Champions League tournament? Yes, I have. We'll be playing that next quarter. Seems like a really good deck. Or Dublade. Did Dublade do good? I've not really looked at the tournaments. We could look at those Champions League results if we want to today, Jack. Oh, the next one ones? Yeah, can do. Well, it's Sun and Moon to Ultra Shiny or whatever the yeah, set's yeah, yeah. called. Yeah. So it's only a little bit different. Is that a Ready Steel? Yeah. This deck has to be Guardy somehow. Dublade wasn't even there. What a surprise. <laughs> well, that achieves nothing. Hold on. Hold on. It achieves the prerequisite three damage for the for the Lapras. I take it all back. Well, that achieves nothing. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 <gasps> What's happened? What have you done? Oh no, Joe. Jack, own up. What oh, have you done? Oh no. I misread the ability. Of oh no. Of Meganium. I thought he said you can't use this ability. <laughs> Just got four stage twos out. I was like, I'll kill his mudkip, it's fine, there's nothing he can do. That's not how it works, I'm afraid. <laughs> he's got a ten he's got a ten card hand. That's what he did. And he's still beaconing. Okay then. They chose to Guzma instead of collect. What can their one card hand be? That's what throws me off right now. Uh don't really want to spend the switch, my hand is so ugly. Don't really, I wasn't too happy about giving him this free beacon, but. Oh, sorry, this free collect. But, we'll do it. You can always just retreat, shuckle, and get it anyway, I guess. Team up pack arts got revealed, and they looked like something out of 2008. They did it proper weird. I must admit. Okay. 
hand is still very awkward. We need more discarding cards in our deck. There's energy cards. That goes down very well. Let's pop one of those on there. <clears throat> is this a shuckle mill deck that just has Lapras to draw <coughs> cards? Is it like old Lapras? Or is it just like a dead drawing Lapras that texts shuckle for zero reason? He plays energies and aqua patches, so I guess he's an aggressive Lapras deck. Hmm, thinking face. What's Reggie's ability? Uh, it's li This card is literally Bufalon. It reduces 20 done to it. Is Fairy Tales the new Lele? Lele is still Lele. Fairy Tales is the Lele of stage 2 decks. Oh, this whole Meganium thing is annoying. <laughs> Is he in the loop yet? Uh, he's not yet. I think he'll probably get it this time. Like, he promoted the Froki, and then he has one out, so I'm assuming... And he, I know he's got the Grin so he's just got to find the boost. But, it doesn't like he's found it yet. Does he play, does he play Gladium? I assume yeah, too. two, sometimes. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's just... I've just seen it. Cool. Yeah, I need to see Shint Shintaro's list. I've seen all of the random ones that have been going around the Facebook groups that are, this is Shintaro's list, and then David's like, no, it's not. Yeah. No, no, no it's not. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Shintaro's list is actually on Limitless now, though. So. Yeah, 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 I saw that it had gone up today, so we can actually have a look. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he got the heads. Oh, I'm busted! Best supporter in format! Holy... What? Oh, dear. Wait, he missed it. Oh. Oh, he missed it, and I can't kill the Greninja. No! <laughs> Everyone said slacking was trash, but look at it now. Rush93, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the little Jim Jam domain. Um, everyone said slacking was trash, but look at it now. I mean, who could have seen this coming, right? There's just no way. Benji, how's it going? Mm, actually, Guzman is our win condition, so I guess we keep our win condition. Sounds like a good play to me. There's a Dusk, Lycanroc, GX deck, and Slash Alolan Persian on Limitless. That does sound highly interesting. Double Paralysis GX attack, the new meta. I really hope it doesn't Alima us out of game. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> What's happened with this meta? 
This isn't the meta, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Best thing about Shintaro is there's audio knows everywhere on his Twitter page. Yeah, sounds good. Why wouldn't you? He's on the right. Is it the Persian that Ross has done a video on? I mean, it doesn't narrow it down. He's done a video of every Persian. Probably. So. Let's be honest. Probably that Persian. That's like just saying, is it a Persian? <laughs> Bring him up again. Okay, okay, he brought up him again. Lima is to judge as time ball is to ultra ball. Be given relief. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Lost March. Not an easy one for us. We've led a GX, which is never that good. Sevi Devi, how's it going? Poggers. Jim Jam. Is that a timeable emo emoji? That's crazy. Where did that come from? How many more hop are you getting down, bro? Here we go. It's from Azul's? Oh, that's crazy. That's so cool. <laughs> hey, all the American commentators, oh, sorry, creators, are focusing on Expanded. At least we have you guys. Yeah, I mean, they have to sort themselves out. That's only understandable, right? They have their regional at the same weekend as ours, so... Oh, Bell of Silence! <coughs> How many has he got? <laughs> Natu can do 40 to us. We can't get it active. But holy, it, it's even a Lost March tech! Broken. Okay, I think I've beaten the Meganium stuff, but oh my god, <laughs> that was a headache. I think I can win though. Thoughts on one Mag Cargo in Bicephalon? You're already playing Ditto. Um, do you have enough synergies? You have Sophocles and Lily, right? That's just, those are like your only synergies. Acrobikes if you want to. Doesn't feel like there's enough synergy for it to be worthwhile. Oh, Heat Factory, true. Sightseer, if you're playing that still as well. Yeah, there's some synergy there. I don't hate it. Bicephalon's tighter than you'd think, though. I've been looking into Bicephalon a little bit over the last couple couple days. It's a tighter list than I thought it would be, to be honest. 17 energies does take I'm up a lot of it's because you need to run 100 energy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> How come he judged us out of an 8-card hand into a better hand? Or let this us? Just, just nailed it. <clears throat>
Save Force 2016. Thank you so much for the follow. Have some face palms because I'm still bricking myself about Harrogate. Who isn't? I've had a lot of messages today. I think I had 14 individual messages, people asking me what they should play for Harrogate today. 13 of them were me from different accounts. <laughs> different group chats. <laughs> yeah. Joe, you've not replied yet. Just wondering if <laughs> anything has come up. I wonder if you're busy right now. Um... Joe, help me. <clears throat> As if I know the answer. Jeez. People are desperate. Are you anywhere near? Or I know what I want to play. I don't know what other people should play. How should? How can I know? Mm. I'm always like, so, what have you been practicing? Come on. Yeah. Come on, give me the, give me the spiel. Man, this is absolutely terrible. Have some more bits because Jack's in chat. Busted. No. Oh. I should come on stream more often. More bits. More bits for everyone. Little sis. Little sis, what should you play for Harrogate? Hey, Burbe, how's it going? Mad Captain wasn't even one of those 14. <coughs> What's a good meme deck for a League Cup this weekend? Um, Meganium, Swampert, Greninja, Super Boost. Lol. <laughs> Probably the most fun deck you can play right now, I guess. That was difficult. I've been playing that game since we started the stream. He took one prize, but he wasn't giving up. More worried about who you're maining for Smash. Who do you think you'll main for Smash? The roster is so big that I yeah, think it's it could be, be hard anyone. For me to tell you. <clears throat> do you know where you're going to begin? Do you know who you're kicking things off with? Do you have anyone? Well, I think you only start off with eight playables. <laughs> That's true, actually. I think you start with the eight from. 64. The OG 8. So, probably just get some Link on the go. Excellent. <clears throat> Definitely ready to play Young Link again. That's going to be a lot of fun. I might see if Ross is going to get it early. If he gets it early, then I'll probably spend the week just grinding out single player to get some characters. Absolute character. God, this deck draws badly so often. Not even drawing badly, it's just how the deck does it. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> Took a big prize there, lads. Huge prize. It's not hugely likely he can response without a lot of blender action Pikachu's broken apparently yeah I heard that I, I saw a few people do some like projective tier lists which are always trash by the way but um, I, I've seen a few people saying Pikachu is not only top tier but possibly like top three characters which would be pretty rad because I did love Pikachu, but mainly because I would just spa uh, spam Thunder because I'm bad at the game. 
I'm going to say, didn't his moves, moves get changed anyway? Not hugely. Oh, I thought I read somewhere that they moved. Um, they changed the like a few, around. Yeah, they changed a few specials, but the stuff that I would spam, it's still, it's still there. So it's Excellent. Fine. Excellent. Have I seen Gold Brooklyn Hill? Yeah, it looks pretty good. There'll be a few cool stadium cards to get in gold. Brooklyn Hill is a really good choice, though. I believe the way it is as well. I believe that might also mean it will be it will be reprinted as well. So it's probably not rotating next year. Crazy. Which I don't. I was thinking about today when I was walking to uni. I don't know whether I like that or not because it is a crazy good stadium. But I don't know how I feel about stadiums that are crazy good but only work for certain types i like crazy good stadiums that anyone can use mm. <clears throat> what's my opinion on brock pipping misty i think brock's great is a good card to have in the game so not too frustrated even though it would be nice to have a Missy's Determination. I don't think Missy's Determination would necessarily see play, though, so... I think it's too slow Outside right now. of my decks. It'd be a good Malamar card. I've been playing TV Reporter, so... It'd be a good Malamar card. But then again, so would Juniper. <laughs> Kapow. You know when I said it would be hard for him to get a KO on us? Embarrassing. Oh, oh dear. Oh, just caught up. That <laughs> jump luff just destroyed a necrozma. A little cotton bud. Did overkill it by quite a <clears> lot. <throat> it's fine anyway, Joe. We don't need to do well in Harrogate. We have too many other games to play. Oh, crumbs. With this hand, I'm not doing well in Harrogate. Oh, no. I've got it lately. It's fine. We always talk about smashing anything I have as a PSP. Wait, this doesn't even kill stuff. I'm so out of here. Terrible. Yep, we can happily put that in the bin. It's fine. Just making sure that I leave no stone unturned. It's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. I've got my good couple safety net fallbacks, and now I'm just sort of giving everything its due moment. Checking nothing's slipped through the net. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't too much. Let's check. Let's check the Champions League quickly to see if there's a deck I should build. Should I build this Meganium stuff? I mean, so many people have covered it already at this point. It feels like it's beating it to death. You're just going to face mirrors all night, so I personally wouldn't, but... Yeah. It's up to you. How do we beat it? So, I mean, Zoro, it didn't do anything to me. It didn't do took anything? One, took one prize. Oh. Killed, killed a Weavile. That's it. Yeah, Weavile's not bad against it, huh? What should I play? I would play some Blacephalon, but I've traded them to a buddy to test. Let me play some Zoro Rock Weavile. Oh! Crumbs, that's what I'm playing. At the moment, it's Elm Great Ball Engine. But it may be... I may look at a Lily build and I may look at a uh, Elm Timer list. That's my big debate at the moment. That, that's where I'm floating around. I've got Elm Timer Ball at the moment. I just don't think there's any way I'm not playing Elm. I just can't see myself not playing Elm. <laughs> In this meta, all roads lead back to Zorro Rock. Uh, Zorro Rock. Hmm. You think? How many judge? I think I only have one and power pad in here at the moment. Yikes.
don't think if I was going to Harrogate, I'd play for Judge. I'm still actively against playing the card against myself a lot. <laughs> so I don't want to eat too far into my, like, Cynthia account. So I'll just play one for now. Uh. Dun, dun, dun. Die. <laughs> Monka S. Fiddly D, fiddly do. Oh my. Fiddly Cedra. <laughs> Why do you guys feel that Blacephalon saw so little play at the IC and so much at the next regional? Because the IC was won by Zoro Lock, and Blacephalon could easily beat Zoro Lock by making not many changes <coughs> to it. That's probably one big factor. I think also seeing Zach Lecharge go so far with the deck does inspire confidence in people to test it a little bit more. Um, it's ultimately, you know, one of the decks that got the furthest in the tournament that isn't Zoro Lock that not many people wanted to play. So, kind of a bit of that. A few different combination of things. People have more time to get new cards. Among other things. That's going to be Kingdra GX. I would assume so. If it's It's got probably one non-GX and the rest are GX. Oh, double tails, why? <laughs> oh my, the first time all I've played today. Get out of my life. I think we're saving the, uh, the Great Ball to try and hit a stage one next turn, because our hand is pretty weak source right now. Don't feel like it's worth having Great Ball for high odds of just another basic that we don't need. <laughs> Joe queuing into PTCGO is like pretty much everyone at the moment on Hearthstone. What is this deck? I think uh, actually uh, because I don't need to be in work until 1pm tomorrow because uh, my work replacement is training. Um, I might play some Hearthstone after 12 o'clock for a little bit. Mm. Just a pre-warning. I may, I may still leave at 11. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Oh yeah, 11. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yes, I got my half started earlier. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll play, I played till like 3 a.m. yesterday because I was just so excited playing. Stuff. Holy. <clears throat> oh, well, this game's completely useless. That's annoying. <clears throat> Forgot about the beast energy bug. <laughs> and this lichen rock shouldn't be alive right now. Oh, is he going to Maelstrom KO Ditto? Don't you do it. He should Maelstrom KO Ditto, right? That's his best move here, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he doesn't have Quagsire yet. What am I saying? Nice. What do I trade away? I think we're always two shot in Kingdra's. Uh, we do play three choice bands. I think it's the it's the right decision to get rid of this. I think Guzma Wooper is not wrong though. Whoop. Oh, should I have I should have evolved my Ditto. What am I doing? I'm not playing around Kingdra. What an idiot! <laughs> I genuinely should have evolved the toe there. That was dumb. He can like at least do some good tempo play this turn. Ugh, that was silly. If we lose because of that, I'm gonna be mad. My Elo has tanked this much. Is it that bad? No, I think everyone's playing everything. You're telling me that Kingdra Quag Nag is Low in the LO. Get out. 
You can't see me, but I'm pointing to my own physical door right now. <laughs> yeah, now. Out you go. I played a half an hour um, <clears throat> uh, odd uh, elemental mirror match today. It genuinely <laughs> took half an hour. It was incredible. <laughs> I assume you've let yourself out at that point. Plenty of time for you to bow your head in shame, look back one more time and be like, oh, please, can I? No, out. You heard me, out. What's he done? Jet geyser. Hmm. This one. Yeah, mini mads. The beast energy is bugged for Placephalon, right? Yeah. Uh, I can't believe it. <sighs> Bloody ditto. Why didn't I think of it? I, I even mentioned it in their last turn, like what their best move was, and I just didn't do anything about it. So we could multi switch, attach to Sneasel, retreat, and try and get a Weavile KO. Oh no, he only has 150. Uh, we can get a free rock rough down. Let's start with that. <coughs> Do we want to keep trying to find Guzma? Yes, obviously. I think we're getting rid of the Cynthia here. So I'm either Cynthiaing. Sorry, I'm either Ace Ruddering or Judging. Counter game's interesting. Um. Judge him. It's a really nice hand for us to draw. So nice that I don't think we can actually trade anything. Kind of sucks. I can trade Devoured. It's actually not that relevant for our math in this matchup. Do I evolve the Weavile just to hit it from hand? There's nothing you can do to punish it, right? Oh, he can use this. Yeah, we need to evolve. Okay. Quagsire, we all start going into a huge frenzy of panic because we can't do much against it. even go max potion charging up quagsire attach detonate and then i'm just crying like a child guzma quag uh oh this is a problem <clears throat> oh crumbs he hit his b strings okay um Good news is he's only got one Naganadel on board right now. Quick jam, thank you for the cheer of one little bit. Thank you. Uh, we gotta try and get Lycan Rock, right? I wanna scout if we have Mallow in deck. We do, okay. So we can get Unit Lycan. I think getting another Rock Rough down is fine as well. We have our second Lycan Rock. So we will. 
I think I'm getting rid of stretcher here. No, I should use the stretcher. Okay, we'll trade Cynthia first. Lele for Mallow. Get our stuff. Oh, draw Mallow. Pog. <laughs> and draw Lycan. That's even better. Okay. Um, saves our bench space for actually putting down a Sneasel now. So it's this. Crumbs. And I think we want to start. I think we just want a second unit, you know, so we can actually try and get a Weavile out on him. Weavile this. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Maybe it's a backup supporter, though. Our hand isn't going that far, so. We'll just get a backup supporter. We know we have Weavile in deck. Let's do that. Smack him in the face. Joe stumbled on the stony left uncovered. King draw all along. <laughs> right, I'll be right back. You want me to show this list? Sure, I can show the list after this game. I need to move this down a little bit. I need to move the cup down as well. Getting in the way of my own comments and stuffs for the bits. <clears throat> Let's see if he can max potion this turn. Stoner left unturned. Quagums all along. Cynthia, okay. So he needs to find some aqua patches if he plays them. <laughs> Just had space. <laughs> oh dear. So much health. We still can draw it into our next Lycan Rock. That's kind of what we're digging for at this point. It would be really bad if we don't hit a ball search card here. So we have all of our ultra balls left. Oh my god. We had so many outs. This is the worst turn. No. That's rough. So far we've played one of our four great balls and no ultra balls and couldn't find Lycan Rock for Riders beating on Quagsire that turn. Holy. Wow. Got your face smacked by Buzz. Yeah, Weavile does cover a lot of bases right now. So many people trying to build Exodia boards. You can punish them. Punish them with what, sorry? Weavile. Weavile, great card. Punish the Exodia board states. Wow, okay. So his hand is still poor, at least. Lycan Rock next card. Poggers, always.
5, 10, 15, 20. So we can KO the Kingdra. Is it better for us to KO Kingdra or to... Um, I should probably evolve the Rockruff no matter what because it's in range of a Volk. Unless we're KOing the Volk. I could Ace Rider active. No, the Volk's fine. If It's better for us to KO the Quagsire, right? Because we don't care if the Volcanian's attacking us. Deal with the real threat. <clears throat> he still has three abilities on board for us to snipe that Lele for game. Probably have to. Yeah. Did you guys ever rate Weavile in your analysis video when it came out? We rated it one star. was in a world of parallel city and we said that parallel would be enough but and it was in a world where we had garbador as well so <laughs> that sort of that sort of soft lock style we thought was too easy to play around and eventually zoropods did all start playing parallel it just for a few tournaments we've all went a little out of control We smashed it. But if you actually look at the stats, like the Zorovile did good in exactly Malmo and didn't do good since until rotation. So we weren't actually that bad. Like we weren't right. Let's get that clear. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. Why didn't you Guzma the Weavile? Wait a tick. Put our other Guzma back in deck. And the rate Acerola is the get out of jail free card. Oh, I should have Ultraboard first. I'm stupid. Never punished. Black Ray Tech, that would be insane. Thank King Dre doesn't like winning. Uh, where's that list that I was just testing? Zoro. What? Where's it gone? Oh, it's here. Nothing too spectacular going on. Are you certain on the muck? Oh my god, there's a man cargo as well. I'd 100% play muck. Gramble and Lost March. One card tech to win two like tier two matchups. Sounds good. Who our lists are very different. Also stops you getting Marshadowed against like Bacephalon, which is really important if you want to keep up with them. How's our list that different? I'm trying to work it out. I'm in I'm in a game at the moment, so I can't see. Let me uh... I can't tell. <laughs> it's very different. Can't tell you how, but well, like I, I'm only running a one one Weavile, and I'm not running the two, one of stage ones. Ditto state things. So there's definitely some yeah notable differences somewhere. <laughs> Just can't work out what they are. How's Mallow plus Mad Cargo being? I love Mallow in all my Zora decks. 
And the Mag Cargo doesn't always get into play. For example, if a Kingdra GX attacks your Ditto for get for knockout. So Does that happen very often or all the time. Um Yeah, I, I swear by Mallow in my Zoro builds. I think it's really good. Yeah, I've got a Mallow in there. Oh, I don't have Kukui. Yeah, I actually really need to play Kukui in here. Oh, okay. Um <laughs> I'm running double Kukui. Let's That's... quickly concede and put Kukui's in, because those are yeah. absolutely mandatory. Yeah. There's two of the slots. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So that mag cargo we just talked about, that's out of here. Cause I'm always I'm always the Mallow fan. I guess we're Mallow. just trimming a great ball as well to three. Hello, Matt. <clears throat> uh, great ball feels like a four count or no count. How many? Uh, how many Lele do you play? Do you play two or three? I've got three. That was just that was something I just noticed. I really want three. My space already comes from the one one we ball I'm playing though. I'm only playing one one so. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could argue that if you're playing one one, it's not worth playing at all. But no, it fully is. I yeah, I I like it a lot. I could go great balls out, third lele in, plus double timer. Let's try this. Only two timers, a little bit sketch. Would kind of like three. Is there a space anywhere? Two mm. Cynthia sounds way too cheeky. Multi that would be that would be my slot, but multi switch. Are you playing multi switch? Yeah. Hmm. You gotta play that. We'll try this for now. See how desperate our hands get with only uh, any two timers. Yeah, I literally built this like five minutes before stream, so not surprising that I've missed something. I was half distracted looking at limitless lists. Drop lecture to three. It's just that's completely anti. Uh, it's like working against ourselves, dropping a good card for a flip card. I'm in. Let's go. Oh, crumbs. This is where playing no great balls looks a lot worse when we can't elm turn one. Monka S. I would play Devoured Field to increase our, like, basic odds, but I feel like we can also just lose the stadium more and be in terrible shape as well, so... Because he's Persimian Spreadums. Well, there goes Rock Rough. Oh, you crumb, why have you prized everything? We played Sogolair. <clears throat> Daddy Zard, how's it going? Didn't hit send on the list you were meant to send me today, Mad Captain. Probably for the best. 
Ah, uh, this is why Judge Zoro makes me feel so sad face. Where are my elms? I swear we upped to three Lele as well. You guys remember when I did that, right? To improve our elm mounts? Yeah? You remember, right? So that we had 11 turn 1 elm mounts. It's another reason for Great Ball over timers. Although we never have timers in hand, apparently. Mm. <clears throat> How slash oh. where do you go to get on a Twitch team? You don't have to be a partner. Anyone can just start streaming on Twitch. You just need to make an account and go ahead and start streaming. That's kind of the joy of it. I think he means the team part underneath our name, though. Um, I'm pretty sure if you have... Wait, what? What's like, underneath our, name? underneath our name, it says we're on Team CCG. Where does it say this? I don't believe it. Oh. There oh, we yeah. Go. Never noticed it. <clears throat> I'm learning something. Jack, do tell. Uh, that's <clears> all the knowledge I can give, because I, I don't know how or why. I don't know why we're part of a team, but that's for a different reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. We're just there. Judge in Zoroark is absolutely busted. This guy's playing crushing hammers in his granbull. Just had space. That's an insta play card. That grummed me. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Jack talks technology. I'll just stroke the cat. Stroke the little kitty. I'm going to lose this grand bull, even though I judged and killed his mad cargo on the same turn. <sighs> oh, there's another double tails. Why the hell am I playing this card? Absolute crumb. Sweet. I'll just beacon my way out of... Oh, no. That's right. Yeah. Good. Right. So let's not play that list. Stone has been... Un the stone has been turned. Nothing underneath it. Absolute crummage. Um, <clears throat> what should we play next? I'm just slashing decks left and right. Let me try this list out. DCE. Okay, so this is the build where I trimmed away from this just to play one copy and no metal energies. So it's more fairy tales focused. Less high roller than I played at the cup. Kitty, you're always out of the way of the stream. There you go. She's off. Oh, it always feels like Grumbles are so far ahead until you've killed all our mag cargoes. <laughs> Stone has been turned. Chuck it into a lake. <laughs> ah, it feels good to have Beacon again. Perfect. This is what we needed all along. Eggs is good, I swear. Well, that's another stone. Where am I? <laughs> Why are there so many stones around here? Be bad. Be bad. Be bad. Oh, Crumsy's not bad. Oh, this Gramble's got one prize left. About that muck tech we d uh, we're talking about, Jack. Yeah, it'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> the slow claw.
Brilla Chillax 3. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. Let's get ourselves out of this mess. So no one knows about the team? Jack, do you know? No, I don't, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, right, okay. Concede. Let me get a muck in here. <laughs> oh, I should have won that game. That's so annoying. What did you do? Everything I could. That's well, the annoying have thing. Because I did everything right. Just drew like absolute pog. Well, what was his board? Was it mag cargos? No, and gurus? no mag cargos, Joe. None well, of them. Then yeah, that's a bit annoying. Because that's what you do in the matchup. You kill him. You do. But even when I killed him, he didn't need him. He killed you. He killed me. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, I'm scared of my laughing too hard. Oh. Sorry, kitty. I enjoyed that too much. I enjoyed the Monka S. Brilliant. 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 If the Mallow wasn't prized, we would have taken a knockout turn earlier. And I'm saying we would have won that game. So we count it as a win. We can't get, are we? Yeah. Um, right, where the hell is my space? Just have it. That's my advice. Okay, so this is my current list. 4-4 four, four, Zoroarks. 3-2 Lycanroc. 1-1 one, one, Weavile. 3 Leia Lay. And a ditto. Which was quite similar to yours. It's the same amount of Pokemon as yours, minus the muck. So it's 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 not really there. Four Ultra Ball three timer. Oh, I don't want to drop multi switch. Cynthia, get out of here. That sounds like a man who's just come back from the war. Jeez. I don't think people coming back from the war say, oh, crumbs, we should have won that. I'll get him next time. Oh my <laughs> god, and the Meganium. This is going to be another half an hour game. That's what they say. Could drop to two rock pups for Muck. Yeah, I could go to two, two rock row. Uh, Lycan rock. I don't know. I just like having a Lycan rock turn one. Uh, having a rock row turn one. I like more basics. I like, I like basics. That's my issue. Big basics. Wait, what? That's got a Zorua. Oh, this is Zora Decidua. Okay, I see. Oh, muck, you big crumb. Okay, he scooped. Ha! Two wins. <laughs> muck, you big crumb. Big ugly mug. <clears throat> am I using second Guzma straight away just for this guy to turbo strike or am I just going to continue with my we've already set up the Lele so I guess we start trying to smack the the, uh, the Mallies around
<sighs> this is the one that isn't an Ultra Beast. Yes, correct. Good. If we can draw into a third energy, we could Xerneas KO the Necrozma. So let's please do that. The Shrine deck normally plays one Necrozma, it just doesn't always play the Lele. Oh, yeah, Shrine puts this into knockout. What am I talking about? We could get a Xerneas attack off. We definitely can't. We can, however, get a really interesting attack off with Solvaleo. Hit it for 150. 160 or Shrine gets knocked out coming back. Sounds like a good play. Let's do it. We drew energy as well. <laughs> Why did I replace Shrine? What am I doing with my life? No! Oh, that's so stupid. Well, I can't do that play now. That's actually tragic. <coughs> okay, so we're going for a Lele knockout. This. No, I don't think we can. I think we have to heal this turn. Which sucks. I need him to put another shrine into play. Hitting this 120 is so easy for him to knock us out in response. I think we Guzma up this and GX for heal. No, we have max potion in hand. We don't need to heal. Okay, we'll just knock this out, I guess. I'm super undecided about this turn. Really weird. I should have just let the shrine stay in play. <sighs> so stupid. Kind of would prefer not to put the energies on this Nine Tails because his Guzma player is likely looking for that. We could put them on a Swampert. Gets our Xerneas in the active much more likely. So I think I'm going to do that. 80 damage isn't even the worst against like a Malamar now that we've put 30 on one of them. Do I play any old Sogaleos? Yeah, one copy. Mainly for Mill. I play one Super Boost, which you can use with it for a big 230. Um, but I'm basically playing as a Mill tech card. <laughs> Why on the Swamp? Because I think his best play is to Guzma us this turn. If he can't Guzma us this turn, we're still super happy because we can get our Xerneas in safely. Basically, if he was able to do the Guzma play on this and take two energy off at the same time, we're in really bad shape. So, I think this is much better. Have Joe take a shot every time he misplays. Not on a not on a weekday. <laughs> Why not on the twenty damage Swampert? Because he won't target these Swamperts regardless. And if he was going to try and target this down, we'd rather have less damage counters on our board. That's a minor thing, though.
next month. Yeah, maybe. But I still wanna <laughs> still wanna be able to scream. <laughs> is it now our GX attack turn? I feel like it is. We're letting the shrine tick over. Doing good things for us. Oh, double tails again! Ah. <laughs> this card is so dumb! <laughs> Where? Literally! <laughs> oh my god! A few mini years. I now do nothing this turn! <laughs> and that's the game. God's sake. Oh boy. The Crossman's coming in. The big old Tate and Liza. Oh, for the shuffle. I thought he was doing it for the switch. Oh, this whole... No. Fudge. Nah. I can't play timer balls. I just can't play timer balls. There's just no way. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh, Guzma is in there. Didn't want to put Lele down because it doesn't feel safe. Then he's got spell tags flying around the board, so we have to try and power draw into it. Oh, good. Into time of all. What are the chances? Double tails. Oh, my God. Yes, we hit Goose. That's nice. Oh. So we are going to Xerneas KO. Don't you dare emote me, you crumb. Or we could Nine Tails KO this and this. You have so many options. I think we're in a really good spot, which is the good news. I think the best play is to use our Guzma on this. Path of Life, which is a sick attack now. What are you doing in the background? Me, I'm just throwing my phone at walls. <laughs> I thought you were playing around with it. <sighs> well, we can see it, I guess. Four tails, cool. Nice one. Good testing. We've learned a lot today. Is Seb still in the chat? Because I'd like to be the one that tells him he's off the team. <laughs> he's not in the chat. Okay. He can stay on the team. Don't fit more pain on yourself. Time will defy statistics. It literally does. I've had six tails in a row. <laughs> oh, my God. So right, his, okay. He needs to evolve a Malamar if he wants to even attack with a Skiratina this turn. Because he can't put 30 here or here because Ninetales can come in and sweep. He can now put on a Coco, actually. We are out of Guzma, though. He can't get a Malamar anyway. Okay.
should not retreat into Coco. What does this play? Whoa. Yeah, I know Lethal. I know <clears throat> technically every time a wall flip is a 50 50, but you know, I've just flipped six tails in one game and it means that I lost the game. I might as well play great board and at least do something, even if it's just getting a Weavile that's not going to do me, do me anything that turn. At least it's a Pokemon to trade away or something. Does anyone in chat know? Um, you might know this, Joe, actually. I don't know. Stats and stuff. Um, isn't there a, like a level where timer ball is, uh, where great ball is better than timer ball? Like number of Pokemon? I feel the number 22 rings a bell, but. The thing is though, uh, I saw those stats, but they were done, uh, for Lily engine rather than Elm. Cause Elm is straight away pulling three so out essentially elite. essentially you're already four out of your deck yeah sometimes exactly. five if you had to ultra for lele so it's really weird how many are you playing pokemon i'm running 20 at the moment and balls i'm running four and three of either time or great i just can't be bothered losing losing games in harrogate because i double tails yeah then play great ball you really did take Evo so for granted. Literally. Pokemon communication makes this whole format so much better. Time will give you the stage when you need. Or it gives you nothing though, Benji. It gave me nothing. Like, even if I get a stage when I don't need, I can trade it away there. If you have no Zoroarks and you're Sycamoring, I think you have like a over 50% to get it. Because from your opening hand, it's like 40%. And then you're doing a Sycamore on top of that, essentially, yeah. to find it. So you have really solid odds to get it. Maybe I need to try Lily Nest Ball Engine. I mean, <clears throat> wasn't one of the lists... One of the lists I looked at the other day was a Lily Nest Ball Engine. <clears throat> Was the top eight list in? No, the top eight Brisbane list wasn't. Have we mentioned Aerodactyl yet? That sort of looks like a sleeper card. It's an awkward stage one though, right? Yeah. I feel like it's got the damage output to be a build around, but it isn't. Uh, isn't easy. Okay, so the Japanese Champions League winning list was a Lily Engine. Yeah, but that's just Lycan Rock, right? It pl does it play Weavile? Does it play? Plays a one. one plays a one one Weavile. Yeah, this list is actually really like my list. Okay, let me make this. Zoro Rock Four. We're currently on. <laughs> uh, Not able to borrow Nine Tails then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some, but. I was thinking, I was talking to Seb the other day, and I was like, I think I just want points. Yeah. And I think Rock is safer than Tails for points. I think Tails gives me a better chance today too, but I just want points. <clears throat> Though they're, for me right now, they're in the exact same place. I'm just, I don't have Nine Tails online, so I'm testing this. I would say Tails is safer for, for points than Rock, because... Like any coin flip heads on time ball gets nine tails, which gets your entire board like every time. That's true. So I think that's actually the safer play. But Lycan Rock's just very good. Yeah, I mean. Oh God, Kirkham's talking. That can only oh, mean one thing. God. Let me go on to BBC Sport. The thing I was thinking is just embarrassing. Like, if he if. 
if Zoro's are starting to find space for 101 Solgaleo, Lycanroc gets one, one KO, which is sometimes enough, but sometimes not. So maybe Tails is your better anyway, because it builds a board. I feel like Tails is the less aggressive, but it can deal with random stuff a bit better, because you have a more consistent board. I'm intrigued mine for the night. Uh, you can, Sean. I don't mind. I don't mind playing another a little bit more rock tonight and then testing tails tomorrow. I feel like I'm in the rock mindset tonight, so. He's got the Ditto Muck going on. Ugh, cat in my face. You want to sit here, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, I can see you. I want to sit on my lap. <clears throat> I wish I was streaming yesterday. For the first time ever, my other cat actually came and sat on my lap. Crazy. It was. It was emotional. And she also purrs really loudly like this one. <laughs> they are sisters, but they're like nothing alike in how they look or temperament. Except for the fact that they both purr really, really loudly <laughs> when you stroke them. Huzzah! Cheers, Sean. I appreciate it. Uh, all right, let me build. <laughs> Goodbye, Elm. <clears throat> Joe is crazy cat lady confirmed. Pretty much. Oh, I didn't play count again either. I really like count again. Okay, we'll just build his list for now. Oh, I didn't play Max Potion. I didn't play Multi Switch. <laughs> so many good one offs he's not playing. See, that's the thing. You can't play any of the cool one offs if you're playing Lily Ness Ball Engine because you need 100 cards. Think of the one offs. He's playing one Cynthia. Wow! He's playing one Kakui. How does he ever kill anything with 180? Uh, uh. Playing a Marshadow. I don't want to play a Marshadow. Let's get our army down, I guess. This list is wild. Nipped me again. Love a little nip. Okay, we max potion and it's all going to be okay, right? He's only got one fire in the discard pile. Pray, 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 pray.
the list sounds bad. Do you want to look at lists after this, Jay? Yeah. More because <clears> I want to <throat> hear your thoughts about this. <clears throat> Lily Pup, that's not what I was looking for. Hmm, that's also frustrating. Ooh. We can ultra road our way out of burn. Cheeky. And confusion, obviously. Are we going to be able to attack this turn? Someone likely that we Cynthia into another rare candy and this one of again. Slash a bull search card. I think we just do this. Don't think it's worth the max potion. It's one less energy for him to go. Oh my god. Oh, we got everything? I feel so bad that we got everything. Five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Do I ultra road into my ultra road? It's our tankiest guy. How's my milk substitute diet going? It's going fine. I mean, it's really not too invasive. I'm trying to just be healthier anyway, just try and eat better regardless before the whole Christmas. Weight gain. Yeah. <laughs> Festive plumpage. <laughs> Absolute plumpage. Oh, I can hear the Arsenal fan downstairs shouting. <laughs> can only mean one thing. We decided New Year's Eve yet? I don't know, have we? Um, I mean, no. Oh, him killing us nine tails really does suck for us. The soon the s sooner I know, the more likely I'll have more beds. But <clears throat> the longer I know, the less likely it is to be viable. So I don't mind if people don't want it. It's just planning would be good, but I know planning doesn't work with us. So what does that card? What does that card do? Planning. Planning. Kirkham's plan. Custard cream's plan. Oh, good. I've been turned one marshadowed into nest ball. That's not an elm, is it? Once per turn, you may choose not to be all useless and to get organised. Once per turn sounds a bit generous. Once per game. Once per quarter. <laughs> Imagine if that was a card. Once per quarter you may win a game, then you have to have it signed by a judge. Busted. Get to the final. Uh, I've won. 
This sounds like the worst idea, literally yes. of all time. It sounds terrible. Oh my god, he didn't kill me. Great ball, show your worth. Oh, you got me a lele. What's my favourite fruit? Guava's pretty top tier. Um, I eat um, a lot of fruit. I eat bananas and apples every day. Um, eat a lot of blueberries, raspberries. I think pineapple is one of my favourites. Don't have that very often, but pineapple is really good. Um, bananas are pretty good though. Guava. I don't think I've had guava. Oh, now we lose because we're not playing multi switch. Oh, crumbs. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? It's a firm no from me. But I can't eat pizza anymore, so. Wait! Cheese on pizza is a no for me these days. How does this work? This. Jerry, this deck doesn't make sense. I don't like the winning list. I've decided. Well done. He runs no way to get a Lycan Rock up in one turn. What, no counter gain? Slash. No no counter gain, no multi switch. Embarrassing. You attach your rock rough and ask if they can knock it out. Well when, come on, man. when they say yes, you just lose. Can I not go to Harrogate? Sure. Wait, where's Dow? Oh, we're just in the in the losing spot. We can we can't uh, jump B string because our Vulpix are all dead, and Ditto is prized, and our other Vulpix. Mm, crumbs. Oh no, just our Ditto. We just played two Vulpix. We have no win condition. I don't want to play Smash, Benji, but I'll play Dominion. Dun, 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 I'm not skipping uni on Friday. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ah. <laughs> Stop nipping me. I'm sorry. I won't play piano on you anymore. Ah, you little... You little crumb. I'm sorry. What's this? What's this doing here? Do you want to get that off my personage? Yeah, let's get that off. Good girl. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I have a trade. I need to finish early Friday. I'll try. A Gardevoir, huh? <clears throat> Going fast against the Gardevoir sounds pretty good. Benji, what time do you leave on Sunday? Oh, Joe, you've queued into another game, you clown. It's alright. Every time. Every damn time. Oh, 
Oh, how did you get another metal energy? Oh, God. <sighs> Why? Why? Can't believe you've done this. He had a two card hand. He had a no card hand. He said I had Guzma Metal Energy. Oh. I was so ready to enjoy this game again, Joe. I promise. So ready. He's lying. <laughs> I am, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> If only we had N in format, you know that really balanced card. Oh, what a beetle. For the re roll. I think I'm going to actively not evolve Cosmo M so he could get the chance of second Tails off this Cynthia plus power draw. Just play Greninja. I play real Greninja. Give me real Greninja back. No, don't. I regret it already. I'm sorry. I want to play Zoroark because I think it's a rewarding archetype, but I just no no one's letting me today. No one is allowing it. If this man has energy plus choice banned from a three card hand, I'm actually gonna flip my table. Well there's the energy. Oh you idiot. <laughs> Okay. I'll be back in a minute. You idiot. <laughs> Unreal. You idiot. have the max potion for next turn. Okay, I'm back. I've done some breathing. How heavy? And some and some meditating. Joe, I just lost to Sky Scorching Light GX. Yeah, you did. This guy is being so lazy today. Absolutely paralytic. <laughs> oh, little kitty. Lists? Lists? Oh, uh, yeah. You clicked play, didn't you? No. I've just watched you. That was... Uh. Who, who... No. That was the cat. Ah, why? Ah. Cool. Let's look at some lists then. Daichi Shimada. 
won the Champions League in Niigata, I want to say. Yeah. Obviously butcher, butchering it. 1,226 Masters, so again, huge event. And uh, Zora Rock came out on top, which definitely puts it back on the map. Should just say that it's not quite our exact format. It's Sun and Moon to Ultra Shiny, but uh, still definitely worth looking into. Playing two of the new 70 hit point Rock Ruffs. Look at his little head. Um, so yeah, 4-4 four, four Zoro, 2-2 two, two Rock, 1-1 one, one Weavile. Decide to play one Alolan Grimer, as well as the Alolan Muck and Ditto. So the full, the thick Muck package. Double Lele and Marshallow for Let Loose. Also played two copies of Judge, so lots of hand disruption available in his list. Four Lily, two Guzma, two Acerella, one Cynthia. Only one Cynthia, that's pretty wild. One Kakui and one copy of Nanu, which switches a basic dark Pokemon from your discard with one of your Pokemon in play. Um, pretty interesting that this actually made the list. Um, lets you get back an extra Sneasel, I guess, and you can evolve straight up into Weavile, which is very cool. Um, lets you do the same with Muck and Zerua, because he's playing the Dark Aloe and Grimer. So that's some pretty tricky stuff you can pull off, I guess. One Apricorn Maker, because he is playing the Lily Ball engine, but still had that as an option to Lele for to guarantee some basics. Four Ultra, four Nest, three Great, the Stretcher, the Pal Pad, the three Choice Band, and two Devoured Fields. So in terms of text, it feels like it's all in the Pokemon because the Lily Ball engine takes up so many spaces. He's not playing Counter Gain, not playing Max Potion, not playing Blower, anything like that. It's just all in on, uh, all in on them balls and them Pokemans. Um... I don't know. I would like a counter gain slash multi switch, one or the other. Maybe not necessarily both, but they, you know, sometimes both go together. One Kakui is also pretty cheeky. I don't know if the Nanu's worth it. I mean, a surprise Weavile is Poggers and all, but how many games will it win you? Ah, this cat just coming up for the slow claw again. Um, one Cynthia. Ugh, that is scary times. So what I did was... <clears throat> I took out the... Grimer, because we don't have it for a third Lele. Yeah. I took out the Marshadow for... Uh... Cynthia? Please? Kikui? Maybe? Yeah, I took out the Apricorn Maker and the Nanu for Kukui Cynthia. Okay. Um, and I don't know what the hell I did with the Marshadow. Uh, I did some other stuff. Took a Marshadow out somehow. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. not a bad, not a bad list at all. Nanu's. Kind of a cutesy card, I guess. Oh, I took the Marshadow out for a Mallow. Yeah, I like Mallow. So we had Ultra Necrozma coming second. It does have the Jirachi engine in this build, though, so that is definitely worth noting. This deck is much clunkier in standard, but it's a second very high placement for this deck after recently seeing it um, in Roanoke go far. Um, this is... Playing a couple Tinas, one Dawn Wings, Team Rocket's Harassment, which is some hand disruption, slash refresh for yourself. Four Energy Spinners, which lets you get basic <laughs> energy, which is why you're only seeing nine energy in his actual list. Um, and if you go second, you get to search for three, which is huge. So this deck, very much carried by the Spinners, I would say, to be honest. It's absolutely insane to have that for this deck, so... Definitely um, huge. Spinners. Spinners. Uh, Tomoki Yamada played the Zapdos Jirachi deck. I don't think we really need to look at it because it's not relevant for our format just yet. Mitsuki uh, Omizo played Vika Ray. Uh, he played, again, these two Prism Stars are new cards that we can't access. 
water labyrinth prism. All Pokemon attacks except Fairy cost one more. Wow, that's pretty interesting. So he played it almost to slow people down. Yeah. Very interesting. Slow down other aggressive decks. That's pretty cool. And played the Lysander Labs as well. Uh, we've got a Blacephalon up in top 8 as well. Um, not much going on. Also playing the Thick Muck. People are really on that. Uh, going on with the Hal account, I know uh, Alex Shemansky played Haller in his top... I think he came ninth. Uh, his ninth place list. Yeah, he played Haller. Um, Haller and Sophocles. Mm -hmm. But he said Sophocles was bad and pretty cool. <laughs> So yeah, that's interesting for sure. We've got Shintaro Ito's list, of course, which you've all seen already, I'm sure, a hundred times. Uh, playing the Meganium Swampert Greninja GX package with the Aloha Ninetales and slacking to wall out abilities <laughs> when it gets thrown into the active position after you use um, Hay Slash to put yourself back into your deck with a super boost energy. Very... Uh, very interesting way of locking out the game and uh, relies heavily on both Meganium and Swampert getting out into play in multiple counts to draw you lots of cards and get you chaining your Greninja pieces and getting yourself back into super boost energy. Played a very interesting supporter line. Obviously he needs the Gladians to get super boost and things like Meganium pieces. But one of the most notables is that he played four Looker as well as two Looker's Whistle because he is so um, so focused on Swampert that you don't want to have things like Cynthia in your list because they just become dead cards. So the Looker takes priority here. Um, then just lots of Bull Search, obviously. Uh, got the one Palpad, as well as the Whistles that can also get them from the discard pile, remember? Oh no, no they can't. I'm being stupid. I'm thinking of Judge's Whistle. Um, but yeah. Really interesting list. Don't know if it's going to get transferred over to standard. Obviously, there aren't new cards in here. So it's technically playable uh, for Harrogate. And I wonder if people will take the plunge on it. Uh, we've got Zoro Tails in top 16. Let's have a look at this. Played Super one -one interesting. 1-1 one -one Muck. Everyone's playing the physical 1-1 one -one Muck in addition to Ditto, which is really... Really interesting. It feels like a, it feels like Muck was an important call for their tournament for one reason or another. Jirachi, I guess. Jirachi, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Who needs Lele when you have Looker? Two Lily, no Lele, no Elm. You have a good deck. So we got four Elm, four Cynthia, Guzmo, Sorola, Kakui. Lily Judge, Timer Balls is the ball search. This one does have a lot more of these sort of tech one ofs, but that's more understandable when you play a load of nine tails to get them out at the right times. It's got himself a counter gain, stuff like that. Very cool list, I like that. A lot of space committed to the muck, but reasonable. We've got another one of these Meganium Swamperts in at 22nd. I wonder if this list is any different. If my computer will stop dying. There we go. Uh, oh, so this list played the Porygon Z rather than the Slacking. Oh, yes. <laughs> to try oh. and devolve people. It also played Bill's Analysis. Players Bill. Ceremony as well. A stadium that continues allowing you to draw, but it does end your turn. It's actually better than Beach in this list because... Your hand size, in theory, gets so big with your Swamp Burts. But seeing a couple people place with this deck gives it some validity, for sure. And we still see Desi Tail Swamp Burt. There's a Buzz down at 45th, so that's pretty yikes. I guess Zapdos is not a good matchup for it, because all the Zapdos does have resist to fighting. And it's a non-GX deck, so I can see Buzz getting pushed out a little bit with Blacephalon and um, Zapdos doing so well. 
Uh, but yeah, that's really the huge, the top stories. There are a couple Guardi Tales in here. Not many, though. There's a Sylveon Zoro. Can't see a list, though. It's a Pissimian Coco that made it. Straight Guardi by the looks of things. So yeah, it looks like uh, Zapdos is going to be a dominant force in the new format, but we can't... Uh, we can't really say much about it until we uh, get to testing ourselves. But yeah, that's overall what we're looking at. We can have a quick look at Brisbane as well. I don't think we've done that yet. We haven't got all the lists, but um, two Zoro Desi Tales in the finals. Brent's list was actually one that I've done a recording of for the Complexity Card Gaming YouTube channel, which should be going up tonight, I guess. Is it tonight or tomorrow that it goes up, Jack? Uh, tomorrow tomorrow great um put me on the spot there <laughs> yeah because i think tomorrow is better okay so i have an in-depth talk about this deck list but overall i think the archetype is very strong proving itself to be a top tier contender because you know three placements here in this top eight um two placements in top both made top four in roanoke and one latam top four finish does show that it has some pedigree. Also a couple of Grambles. These two Gramble players were the top two seeds after day one. I feel like everyone stopped talking about Gramble. Yeah, it's still uh, still powerful. You've got to play it right, but it's definitely a powerful archetype. Mm. Two of them making it all the way. Clifton Go still playing Zoro Desi Tales. We saw him play that at Latam. Another Zoro Rock made it. So definitely coming back into the format a lot more, this Zora Rock archetype. It sort of had a hiatus at Latam, but came back for sure. Very simplistic Pokemon line. The Giratina for the Distortion Door being played um, for some math fixing. Pretty intricate. It allows you to do. It allows you to gust up um, Lele's and knock them out with Choice Band Devoured Field, which is pretty cool, and also helps set up preemptive damage against like 180 and 190 hit point GX Pokemon so that's a pretty cute one-off that we could see coming into the format a bit more at the end of the day it's still it's two Crobat drops and Crobat was in a lot of decks back way back when um, playing the Mallow like a good man 1A Cerola I've got a cat attacking me got the multi-switch got the triple timer so he is Elm triple timer ball. Have you looked at this list much, Jack? I am looking at it now. It looks like a really good really good base, to be honest. It's not playing any real yeah. text for <clears throat> yeah, uh, that's the only thing. I don't I don't like it not playing Weavar is the only thing. Yeah. It feels like its win condition against some of these evolving stage two things is just like try and hit them with a the judge. Hit them with a judge, kill their first one with um, Gust it English up and Rogue, yeah. and hope that they can't draw out. But with Ninetail Swampert engine, it feels like everyone can draw out now. So you. I don't know. Yeah. This feels very fair, is my concern. <laughs> it's the most unfair, fair deck. Yeah. And then we got a couple of Psychic Mallies as well, making it into the top eight. Um, Chimeco definitely a big card for Harrogate I would not sleep on how powerful Bell of Science is going to be for Harrogate it seems like a no brainer right now that you can just win games based on that card alone Malamar is low key in my opinion a pretty good play Bell of Silence can just shut down a lot of these decks trying to do a lot of Nine Tails Candy Shenans you can completely Stop them in their tracks. Um, and still just has a naturally like good Bacephalon, so I think it's a strong play, to be honest. Not a bad list to take, either. Only seven supporters is a bit scary. But yeah, that's uh, Brisbane as well, so... Cool, cool stuff. Let's uh, hop back into PTCGO for a bit. Because we can still have a few more games. Uh, with that said, I'm going to keep playing some Swamp Galeo because it sounds fun. Pop 
this over here. Thoughts on Empoleon Swampert? I know that Lapar's been taking it to cups. And there's won a couple, I think, or at least won one cup with it. Yeah, he won on top forward. Um, his uh, the one that he won, I think he faced six Blacephalon. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was five or six. So good meta call <laughs> for sure. Um, beyond that, don't know what to tell you. Do we just attach pass? We can turn to do it all. Let's just Bait. let's just do the Bait. attach pass. We've got the busted turn too. Okay, right. I'm gonna have one more game, and I think I'm gonna call it a night because the time ball thing has actually genuinely tilted me. I was one of the six, says Da Lock. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, we're not playing Time of Balls in this list, so I can't flip Double Tails. All the abilities in the format. Where's Garbodor, my sweet prince? We have Garbodor in the form of a one-star card. Weavile. Jab. I don't know why I'm trying to play with this cat. I know it's going to end in me bleeding. You're going to be in pain. Oh, what a Pogger's draw as well. Nectarines. I was one of the six. Oh, for... Okay, I'm off, Joe. I'm out. What happened? I queued into a... queued into a Steelix, didn't I? That might be partly my fault. <laughs> Oh, a mill. Yeah. Embarrassing. Yeah, I'm I'm out of Pokemon energy for tonight. I'm too tired. Um Yeah, if you didn't hear, Joe recorded something for the CCG YouTube channel. Um Which is a thing. Which is a thing. That we've only just decided to do and haven't been planning for around a year. Um <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Decided last night. Um, I'll make a. Po <laughs> I'll make a. Po I can't even. I can't even. I'll make a post on Omni tomorrow, uh, promoting it a little bit. Um, there'll also be a post on the CCG page itself. But if you guys could, um, give that all your love and support like usual, there will hopefully, um, be a couple of streams per week in the near future. Um, we we have a couple of ideas for features. We want to have Joe's kind of video looking at one of, either the first or second place list, depending on what he have, what he has access to of a tournament the previous week. So we can kind of analyse what's doing well uh, in real time, so you can know what to look out for in your cups the following weekend. Uh, Tamau is also hopefully going to be streaming on a Tuesday once he's sorted some issues he's having with PTGO, and we're currently looking for a second streamer as well, which I am uh, working on as we speak. Um, so hopefully two streams on the CCG Pokemon YouTube channel, uh, Pokemon Twitch channel, and at least one video a week. Um, there'll be sometimes where we have more than one, and we're also hopefully going to have a Harrogate discussion, or <laughs> CCG people will have a Harrogate discussion. Uh, within the next nine or ten days, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you guys could give that all of your all of the love that you give to us over here at Omni, it would be super appreciated because it's something that we've wanted to work on for, uh, like I say, around twenty four hours. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be fantastic. Um, Joe's post will also go up about his winning his second League Cup win. Uh, that'll be going up on the Facebook tomorrow as well. So 
make sure you're liking both of those places and you'll get to see more about us doing well or Joe winning cups us doing well as a broad statement Joe winning cups <laughs> um, cheers but yeah I'm I'm out of Pokemon energy for tonight after flipping six tails on a time ball and then queuing into a Steelix That's so I'll see good. you on Monday yeah Sounds um, good. I'll probably chat to you tomorrow about Hearthstone Joe I can imagine because yeah. quite, quite frankly I'd rather be playing that Ah, right, yeah. Be cheers. In Forty-five minutes. Oh, I'm gonna be back. Don't you worry. <laughs> in the form of a chat bubble. Right, yeah. <laughs> cheers, everyone. There he goes. Let's just keep queuing into Guardi decks as a Solgaleo deck, shall we? How's that sound? How does that sound for Arrogate? Sounds pretty busted to me. Do you see that cat trying to go for a nibble? This absolute character. She's been sat here for hours. Has the audacity to give me a little nib. Get to see Tamal lose to Komoa. Exactly. And so much more. All at your fingertips. Oh, is he that plea? Oh, he didn't plea. He just said... If you have it, you have it, bro. All in. And we currently don't have it, so... PGX would have been a fine play, but whatever. It's just going to feed us a big old Gardevoir. And we'll take it. And you've had it, mate. Let's just be real here, dude. He's got to plea both my silver layers, basically, to win. Maybe I shouldn't have spent the rare candy. Maybe that's where I went wrong. Looks like he doesn't want to play us though. He wants to just try and build a Guardi. <laughs> Which at this point looks pretty foolish. Play is the only thing we lose to, so I'm just going to deal with that. I guess he still could have gone spring attached to a uh, an Eevee. Oh well, we were so far ahead. Good start here, for sure. This cat cam has been magical today. I've loved it. I 
What is going on here? Glycopod. That's a name I haven't heard in a long, long time. Lelied for not a lily or elm. What is going on here? What if I just play golly cart for Harrogate? The only upside to Glisspod is that it can knock out Swamperts, and there's a lot of decks that are reliant on that boy. Oh my god, this hand is ridiculous. This hand is bananas. Do I want to get an attachment in on anything? Probably not. 70-30 on this and like a Lele isn't bad. But I'm, I think I just wanna, sw I wanna have Swampert discards. So I just think we don't. Joe, hashtag Team Lily won Japan. Just saying. Yeah, completely different format though. <laughs> different format, doesn't count. <laughs> Slightly different format, doesn't count. Time to go in. Embarrassing. I guess I do attach now. It's so unlikely that we Cynthia get our last two rare candies for like Ultra Road plus other guy. So I guess we do commit to the active this turn. I was so surprised that he flying flipped. Maybe his hand's just bad. Wow, we almost did draw into the whole thing. Bye then. It's so quiet without Jack. Sorry, I was busy building the biggest board I've ever seen. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. In about half an hour, I'll change to some half stone, and there'll be some sounds going on. There's peace without time of ball. <laughs> He's 
some of their timers in the background. What are we up against here then? Zora Rock, by the looks of things. Could be Buzz Rock still. Oh wait, there's a Bonnie. Zygarde Lycan? Yikes. Where's the music? This one's going on to the YouTube, so we can't have music. They don't like it when we play tunes. Really insane hand. Have I shown the list already? Yeah, I've shown it, but I can show it again. Kind of la a surprise by the lack of solar layers in Japan. I guess every everyone plays Mux to shut off Jirachi. Soon, not even memes will will be allowed. Apparently. Create a tie ball song. I can loot for five hours. <clears throat> kind of surprised by the lack of solar layers in Japan, but I guess everyone plays Mark to shut off Jirachi. I mean, that doesn't doesn't explain why there's not much solar layer, but yeah. Everyone is playing Muck. Too much Jirachi value is just ridiculous, so... Oh my goodness, we even drew a fair energy. This is pretty redonkulous. If we don't flip some Tails's. Tails is, 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 is. Don't you do it. Don't flip double Tails blocks. I believe in you, timer ball. Believe in yourself. Believe. Whew. I'm just going straight out for the turbo strike. I normally like getting the uh, the Swampert established, but we already have the knockout and we're attaching energy to the back as well. It's all just too perfect when we can Lele for a supporter anyway. It's too clean. Can't say no to it. Black market memes. We can do this because that other nine tails is prized. We can do this. We'll save timer for Swampert next turn because our hand is coming to a halt. But this is some pretty tempo. Place multiple Bonnie because we've seen a full art and a half art now. That's actually one reason why you shouldn't play alternate artworks in tournaments because if you see one in the discard, you don't. Like, I know at this point that it's two copies of Bonnie, at least. If they were the same artwork, I wouldn't know. Two years in jail for sending a meme. Here comes the song Galeo. Sorry, not the Sogolo, the Zygarde. Can he sprint away any fighting energies is the question. That's the whole point of his syn- Like, that's his synergy, right? Trying to sprint so he can... GX. Spam. Swampert's a pretty good non-GX attacker. If we can get our boost up and running. No energies? Oh, so unlucky. That's actually really rough for him. I do feel quite bad. Mm. 
as we just carry on with our day, getting swamp daddies out. Deck thinning strats. So what's his max damage next turn? It's just the same amount, right? So we can just... We don't even need to commit choice band. We're just good doing this. If he hits us again with no more attachments in his discard pile, we can just prominence. Or find a max potion. Didn't you go 0-3 drop with this deck at a cup? I didn't drop. I didn't do well, though. It's a different list. I played a list that played 2-2 two, two of the Solgaleos, and I played a mixture of Fairy and Metal Energy, and was much more reliant on trying to get both Solgaleos out. I've sort of toned it back since then, and it does a lot better now. <laughs> I also hit quad timeable tails. Quad, mind you. Uh, three times in the tournament. So, yeah. Also in the cup that I won this weekend, I hit Quad timer tails twice. Fortunately, it was against uh, two Gramble decks, so that was all okay. Um, timeable luck is never there when you need it. I mean. Yeah, pretty much the story of my day. I think we're coming in with nine tails to get the knockout here. If I put 30 on a Rockruff and have the nine tails up front, we're more likely to super boost and knock out with Swampert. So I think I like doing this. I think it's the safest way. I'm try and recycle to maybe develop second swamp. That would be the dream. We can get the dream if we want it. We can also max potion. Do I want second swamp right now? I don't really want to get rid of too many energies because we're not guaranteeing turbo strikes just yet. So I think we'll hold and just get the 30 on the rock rough. Trying to set up big boy super boosty plays. Not that we're too worried about a Lycanroc after its GX attack. Like that's the only thing we that it can do, really. Afterwards, we're not too concerned. It's just we don't want to give him too many turns of it. He's going to sprint. That's another DCU gone. That's really bad for him. Three DCUs gone. And a Cynthia after that. Needs to find himself a Lycan. How many in the discard? Just one. There's a Lotto. That can't help him too much, I'm sure. Unless he's sprinting again. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. As if he whiffed. Holy. That's pretty unfortunate. Okay. What did I win the cup with? Zoro Nine Tails Decidueye Solgaleo. My list should be going up on the CCG Facebook page any minute now. If it's not already. It, it was meant to be this evening. Let me
me check check Facebook quickly. No, not up yet, but it'll be on the CCG post soon. How many cups have I won this season? Uh, three, I think. I've won the two for this quarter, and I won one last quarter. And I think I've attended five. Maybe six, though. I can't remember. How good is the, the Meganium deck? I've not tested it. Um, I think it should be slow. Um, it feels slow in my head. It feels like you can... I think Decidueye Ninetales should inherently have a reasonable matchup against it unless they get slacking out against you very quickly. Um... But... I don't know. I can't give you a confident answer because I haven't tested enough with it. Pretty solid turn one. From the gameplay, I saw uh, Azul's gameplay of it just just like an hour ago or, or before it, just an hour before I started streaming. Uh, Russell made that Hey Fonte post and. Um, by the looks of things, it looked pretty slow to get going. Like, your turn one is just Elm. Your turn two is, like, hope to get Meganium and Swampert. And then it's, like, turn four, five, where you're actually starting to look to attack. It's just whether or not your opponent can do anything. Uh-oh. Oh, ditto. You swine. <clears throat> Let's just try and hit DC with, and we're in sad boy territory. Sad boy territory indeed. Uh, yeah, it's this. We have prominence to fall back on, though. I feel like we can do it. Real men go timer candy. Wow. Don't like the Elms engine in Meganium much for Lily Ball. That kind of helps you, uh... Helps the high rolls roll higher, which is kind of what you need, I guess. What's my conclusion on Zorark Weavile? Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's solid. Um, a lot of your win conditions come from starting to judge people out early and wanting them to not do much. Um, but if that can work, it can work well. With, like, the late... like. Because you're judging them, you're forcing um, them to put down leles and stuff like that. That's pretty much the... This is horrible. Hmm. 
Where are my Energize? I'm testing Zoropod with one ditto for fun. I've had a few people talk to me about Zoropod today. Don't know why. Ugh, this is disgusting. Having to prominent straight back into Rule of Evil sounds really rough. The one good thing is his board hasn't developed much. We have already wasted one max potion. Prominent seems to be going down the pan next turn if we can. Otherwise we go down the pan. Sorry, Pod is worse, sorry, Rock, just because of how nuts Tina is, to be honest. I mean, I think Pod is just... The, the best thing about Pod is that it can just Grinch Swampert's. It's got a very, very bad Blacephalon. Probably still a pretty bad Gardevoir. Like, there's, there's still a lot of bad matchups for you. Like, the only upside is dealing with Swampert's easily. <laughs> Please, energy card. Uh, I don't want to spend the max potion. No, we've got to be greedy. If we're going to win this game, we've got to be greedy here. We've got to hit prominence off this. Could Ultra Ball away these. I think I will. The slightly higher odd. Gotta believe. Gotta believe we can hit energy off six. Okay. He still gets a lot of damage in. But we still have one max potion in deck. Trying Lucario Weavile Tails because my next cup is in Feb. That's pretty interesting. Choice man, sure. That's a lot of damage. We've wasted too much time. I know what'll fix it. More abilities on this board. Played so many items. Eight items. It's a perfect amount for a garb. No wonder spread decks do so good. Just evolve all your abilities and win. Spreadsheet calls for milk tank tails. Is that the answer? Todd, look, I'm not here to sit in the active with one Sogaleo and slowly win the game. I'm here to build up my board and go, oh crumbs, I've built my board too much, and then try and figure out how to win after that. That's what I'm here for.
We'll evolve an extra thing for extra shrine damage counters for him. Ah, I see. Continue. <laughs> I beat the Zoro. Sorry, I beat the Coco Weavile I faced uh, in the cup by being good and disciplined. And I thought, nah, let's not do it on stream. Can Miltank Zoratails be a good deck? No. See you later. What is discipline in this day and age? Who can be bothered with it anyway? Uh, what are we going to do? We've got seven minutes. I think I'm just going to play Hearthstone. Honestly, I've been gagging to play Hearthstone all day. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the stream off for like five minutes so I can go to the toilet. Uh, get a drink and set up my OBS and I'll be back on for Hearthstone and music if you guys want to. If not though, and if you're watching on YouTube, cheers for watching. And we'll be back on Monday for another stream. Uh, I think I'm going to be recording some Zora Rock Weavile style stuff um, tomorrow as well for the channel. And keep an eye out for the CCG Facebook. No, not Facebook. Yeah, Facebook for my cup list. Uh, but also the CCG YouTube channel, which is pretty much launching, I think, tomorrow with Brent Tonneson's second place list, um, where I discuss um, the card inclusions and uh, sort of the play style of Zoro Ninetales and the sort of um, matchups and stuff like that. So that should be interesting. Hopefully there'll be a lot more to populate that channel with when we do get into the swing of things. So... Yeah, cheers for watching, guys, and we'll be back soon.